Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. I've got beer mail today, got two bottles from no other than Hazy Days Brewery, Timmy Jenkins, the hopman from UK, known for his hop rassles and of course his napas. So he has been sending everyone his napa and I'm so thankful Jimmy for getting to try it. Uh, we had had some Easter holiday here in, in Sweden and of course many where else. So it has been sitting for a while and as we know napas are really sensitive to oxygen so I hope it is safe. This is brewed with a yeast called London Fog Yeast. Cause I had the recipe and I glanced at it so we're gonna go through that as well. I never brewed anything with London Fog Yeast. If, if you aren't new to this channel you know what that means. And if you are new to this channel consider becoming a subscriber. Here on my channel I do beer reviews and gear reviews. I do brewing videos, DIY videos, stupid experimental videos and um, yeah more. So if that sounds interesting to you consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell to get notifications when I post a video like this one. And yeah, a thumbs up really goes a long way. As you hear, beer excites me. So of course, recipe for this one also goes up on my Patreon page. But yeah, what does it mean a new yeast? It means to me that I'm gonna steal your yeast. I made a small starter shot some video from making starter so let's check that out and get this puppy into a glass making a starter outside it's beautiful weather I'm gonna steal Timmy's gist this is uh, three deciliters of water a little more three and a half deciliters uh, 30 plus grams of uh, DME, also added some yeast nutrient, and a stir bar. I'm just gonna put a small amount in this, just some from the, uh, from the bottle. So making a small first starter so we can ramp that up, doing a second before we're fermenting the beer with it. So oh, cool, London Fog Yeast. Never tried. Have you tried London Fog Yeast? Comment down below. Thanks, Timmy. Hope it will turn out great. Okay, this has been boiling now for a few minutes. This is sanitized. It's hot. This will keep on steaming. Of course, everything is sanitized by now. I spray down also the foil with some store sand but yeah it's so hot so the steam takes really care of it okay let's cool this puppy down okay so the idea with the starter is i just made a small one because will harvest from this bottle and this is not a butter fermented bottle but that don't mean that it ain't containing any yeast so some for me and some for the starter nice hiss there Timmy no gusher so let's give it a pour and hope it's not grayish it might be a little gray actually not awful grey. Okay, so saving some. Don't, ain't much, because I want the most of it. There's some mosquitoes here. It's a beautiful evening here in Sweden. I've got this beer mail today, but as it's a Napa and it's very, very sensitive, it has been sitting for a long time. I wanted to try it as soon as possible. So I've, I'm gonna pick that up, promise. So I've just chugged this into my freezer to cool it down and uh, yeah, made a starter. It was maybe like one and a half hours since I opened the package and already made a starter of it, Timmy. 
You could have sent me some yeast, but I didn't ask for it. Okay, so color is quite spot on what you see. So it's, it's extremely hazy. Uh, but as you see, I don't think it has survived the trip so well, but it's all about the, uh, the flavors. Uh, I can smell some from here. When beer gets oxidized, I do get like a sweet strawberry jammy taste from it. Some say cardboard paper. I almost get a, like, as I said, strawberry jamminess from it. I hope we don't get it here. These beers are very extremely sensitive, so they aren't really, really for being stuck at the post office. But let's give this one a nose and hope for the best. That doesn't mean that the yeast is bad, so I'm still gonna try to make a starter from it. And that small starter we go into a bigger starter and with that we can make a beer. So if you're interested in that, consider becoming a subscriber. Ah, cheers. Should we look at the bottle? Sorry. So, Hazy Days Brewery, Napa, 6%, Citra and Asaka hops. And as I said, we're gonna go through the recipe. And yeah, I will pick that up. It's, it's not extremely hoppy at all. Get like a malty chewiness, if you can say that. So maybe it's ruined. Let's taste it. Cheers. It's not bad. It is maybe a little more bitter than than it should be, but I do prefer that. I do actually get a small hint of uh, like a medicinal band-aid taste, so there's a little off flavor in it, but it's a really nice beer. It doesn't take over really. It, it's not thin, it's, it's like a very thick beer, big mouthfeel. Gonna look in the recipe what he actually did to do that, because that's quite interesting. I do think we lost some hop aroma on the way, Timmy. Sorry about that. Maybe you should have posted it after the Easter holiday, but you didn't know about when we have holidays, of course. But it's not bad, but it's a little off flavor in it and uh, great mouthfeel and uh, nice bitterness. So, Let's have a look at Timmy's recipe. And the recipe also goes up on my Patreon site in the Dr. Hans recipe book. And speaking of patrons, roll the patron list. Okay, here's the recipe for the Napa, Asaka and Citra. Original gravity 1078, final gravity 1032. Don't know how many liters, but it did do 22 liter mash and 6 liter sparge. For malt, he used 500 grams of golden promise, 500 grams of golden oats, 750 grams of wheat, 500 grams of carapils, 250 grams of honey malt, 500 grams of maltodextrin. Okay, so there's both Kara peels, 500 grams, and 500 grams of maltodextrin. And yeah, that will give you a big mouthfeel. So 1032, so it's quite a lot of sugars left in it, but the, the bitterness really helps that out. 
yeast London fog. I don't know like anything on London fog yeast. I think I heard of it first from Timmy Jenkins. I really should have uh, started a bit on it before making this video. I realized that now, but I wanted to get this beer into the freezer and try it as soon as possible. I always try to push hoppy beers to the the front and I'm sorry for you guys who have been waiting a long time for me for doing your beer mail reviews. Yeah, I will get around to them hopefully soon. Mash P8 5.2 40 minute boil at 50 minutes he added some yeast nutrient and the maltodextrin at zero minutes he added the hops and he added uh, no sorry at zero minutes he shielded down the wort to 80 C and then added the hops 100 grams of citra and 100 grams of asaka and after fermentation was done he cooled this wort down to 14 C I know some guys are doing that, cooling the wort down before dry hopping. I do the opposite, but um, yeah, maybe that's for another video. Um, so I can tell you why I'm doing it that way. At 14 C, he dried hopped it with 150 grams of citra and 150 grams of asaka. So there you have the recipe. And yeah, it also goes up in written form in the Dr. Haas recipe book on my Patreon page, guys. Ooh some sort of critter. It's a really nice beer there from Timmy Jenkins. If you're new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber and yeah, do hit that little bell. Check out my Patreon page if you like. There's also my Dr. Hans Influencer Store at Amazon, where you can check out the stuff I use for beer and brewing. So feel free to check out that as well. Cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.